this is how when the librarians talk about this is one reason why they wanted me to be lucid for this because they feel like they're not explaining well when they talk about connect with the past earth to build the future earth and they feel they've given you all a variety of excellent techniques their favorite one is literally to become a member of the forest to talk with a tree because every tree's memory goes all the way back to the first tree what they call grandmother tree every single tree in existence can remember all the way back to grandmother tree the first and the grandmother tree was not a tree like we have now grandmother tree looked more like reeds you know like bamboo so you can even go to bamboo and say take me to grandmother tree and grandmother tree will teach you about primordial life and you're like okay that's a little too far take me to the trees when i was alive at the dawn of human civilization and they'll say the dawn of human civilization was the only time humans were civilized from then you've all been downhill because you separated from the planets how is it a dawn of civilization it was a beautiful sunrise putting color everywhere and then humans turned their back and walked into a building and built a computer and closed the windows and shut out the outdoors and say now i'm advanced so grandmother tree can take you to a time when they say the renaissance of human civilization when people slept on the ground and were one with the planet and you had appreciation for all the resources that were there before you all the skills that you've lost that's a collective loss not an individual loss if you look into yourself and you go back to who you were then you will find everything you need is right there inside of you all you need is to recognize it and then have 100 percent connection and faith full belief in self now they're saying suppose you say but i don't know if i was around back then maybe i'm a more young soul maybe i've only been around for like five thousand years i don't know and you asked me to go back like 20 40 000 years like maybe i wasn't they're like this is not a problem if you are here in this time in the here and now and your soul is not that old they guarantee you have like a splinter of someone who was all you have to do is ask that it be awakened within you soul contracts are coming to fruition life paths are lighting up all around us everything that you didn't even consider a reality a short time ago is now in front of you screaming for your attention so don't worry about what you thought was real or true even six months ago because everything is opening up so how do you talk to grandmother tree so that you can go back in time Okay, we're going to do a short meditation. Invite yourself to be very relaxed and comfortable. Invite all the energy within you to just flow. Invite your eyes, your physical eyes to close and your dream eyes to open. Imagine yourself in a beautiful meadow high up on a mountain. 
It's your perfect time of year. The weather is beautiful. There's a gentle breeze in the air. When you look around you, you see the grass is lush and green, dotted with colorful spots of wildflower. In the distance, you see a family of deer grazing, comfortable, relaxed, while the little babies bounce around and play. And nearby, you see some bunny rabbits nibbling on blades of grass. There's insects hopping about crickets, grasshoppers. And when you look out, you can see a beautiful vista gorgeous mountain rolling downward and out you see the landscape the terrain that goes on and further beyond the terrain you see the ocean before the curve of the world swallows up your sight If you cock your ear a little bit, you can hear the melodic tones of a babbling brook. So you walk a little ways, find this stream, just a lovely stream, flowing down the mountainside. It's been flowing for so many years, decades, centuries, millenniums. Beautiful, fresh water. If you'd like, you can kneel beside it, reach your hands in, raise some up to drink or splash on your face neck on the other side of this lovely stream you see a beautiful forest the ground is blanketed in moss with occasional boulders peeking up. And the trees, there are saplings. There are also ancient, magnificent trees. Some that look so tall, wide, They would make redwoods blush. So you hop over the stream into this mossy forest. And even with your first step in, you can feel the beautiful healing nature, the nurturing quality of this forest. You can feel the energy of the forest, the ancient magic, the healing moss soaking into your body, into your spirit and your mind. Just bringing soothing, nurturing, well-being to you, 
and into you. And as you walk into this beautiful, ancient, mystical, mossy forest, and you look up to the tree canopies high above, you look around, you see one tree ahead. You can feel this tree is calling to you. Look at this tree. How does it feel, this tree calling to you? Walk to the tree. Let your heart open. As you walk to the tree, looking at the roots where they go into the ground. Put your hand on the bark of the tree and rub your fingers on it. How does it feel against your palm, your fingers, your hand? You can put your cheek against the tree. As you do so, the tree whispers in your ear tell you a secret that is just for you. Receive the message that your tree has just for you. Put your second hand up on the tree, both your hands and your cheek against the tree. You can feel the tree starts to open up like a door or a portal opening, inviting you in, inviting you into the tree. Enter your tree. Feel yourself become one with the tree. You are surrounded by the rings of the tree, radiating ever outward. And you can feel the fibers of the tree flowing up up, bringing all the beautiful liquid from the deep earth through the roots, up through the fibers of the tree, becoming thicker and thicker sap, going up, 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 always up to the canopy to bring vital nutrients to the leaves so that the leaves may spread out across the branches, absorbing the sun, creating oxygen, bringing all the divine blessings from all the dimensions in through the tree, flowing energy down, down, divine love, down around all the fibers, down into earth, where Pacamama, bedecked in crystals,
snakes flowing through her hair. Worms coiled around her wrists and a gown of selenite. And earrings of quartz, lips of obsidian. Our beloved Pacamama absorbs all the divine love, sends it out all through our planet to all the beings and creatures of nature. Just be in your tree feeling this beautiful process of moisture rising up, divine frequency flowing down through the gorgeous, sacred fibers of this tree. Ask this tree to teach you the language of the trees, the language of grandmother tree. And receive whatever knowledge, frequency, understanding flows in with your request. Beautiful tree. How I love you. I thank you for inviting me to be one with you and to feel your sacred work, your beautiful life frequency, your flowing of energy. I invite you for letting me be one with your sap and your fibers, to feel the sunlight on your leaves flowing into my body. To feel the cool moisture rising up from your deep tendrilled roots. I thank you. I thank you for sharing yourself with me and inviting me to become tree energy, to learn tree language. I thank you. Now you find yourself gently, lovingly being released from your tree. Return to the space in your home. But tree spirit is with you now. You have been attuned. You are invited to go and sit with trees, any tree, even a drawing of a tree, and begin conversations, listening. You are invited to go to trees, ask them questions, and then become as still as a tree so you can hear their subtle, delicate answers. And 
we guarantee if you talk with trees long enough and purely enough, if you open your heart and your mind and your ears, your soul, to listen to what tree has to teach you, tree will take you back. The trees long for the days when humans were one with nature and they're eager for the days when we are again they wish to help us to reclaim ourselves so we can again be comrades friends who do no harm only offer each other help and support. So we tell you, look to your dreams. Speak to the trees. When you are comfortable speaking with the trees, when you can hear them, you can broaden your horizon speak to the roses or to the squirrels ask tree and tree will introduce you we tell you this when you are on earth Trees are one of your most sacred guardians. They look forward to the day when they can graduate humans to become friends and guardianing our planet together side by side. <laughs> 